Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to talk about the illusion diffusion AI art that is going viral right now. You can create this for free on Hugging Face, but sometimes it's really slow due to high traffic demand. So, I will show you how to use Google Collab free tier to achieve the same result. I also have one bonus for you to upscale your image for free. So, stick till then. Let's get started. Before we start creating images, uh, big thanks to AP for creating this Hugging Space Gradio UI and Mr. Uglace for discovering this workflow. There are details about them. You can go ahead and follow them on Twitter known as XNow. So let's go ahead and start creating images. So let's have a look at the Gradio UI input. So you have a uh, input image here where you can select this predefined or you can use your own illusion. Then we have prompt where you will provide your positive prompt. Then guidance scale, seed value and a kind of sampler. Okay. And then this is illusion strength. This is really important. The more the illusion strength, you will see the impact on the images. So let's select this spiral illusion and I'm going to set the strength as one. And now let's give our positive prompt. So I'll save these prompts over description of the video. You can take it and try by yourself. So let's go ahead and click on run. You'll find that, you know, there are long queue that is three by three. Now it is two by three, even though it is fast, but it's still you have to wait for some time as there are other people using it. So we'll be using Google Collab after some time and do our rest of the video over there. So you could see, all right, uh, we use this kind of illusion and we have the same effect on the images here as well. Let's try another example. We will be keeping the same illusion over here, but I'm going to change my positive prompt and strength i will go with 1.1 over here okay and click on run i would recommend to use strength between 0.8 to 1.2 in most of the cases only in very few cases you need to go to 1.5 or 1.6 or 7 you know uh, i will show you some examples of where you can use those kind of high illusion strength so let's have a look at the results here so you could see how nice we are able to create the effects right i, I really like this project and uh, you could see the strength over here the higher the strength we are increasing you know you will be able to see the impacts more on the images even the clouds have these kind of spiral effects over here okay since this is kind of slow i'm moving from here to collab now so let's go ahead and run this collab i will share this collab file in the description of the video as well as in the pinned comment you can take it from there and to run this you just go run and run all so our collab is running and you'll find one public url over here you can click on this and it will open a new window here you do not have selection of predefined so i'll just go ahead and upload it from my system so i'm using this different spiral image i wanted to show you that you know it works and this time i will go with 1.5 strength and i'm going with my positive prompt over here Let's go ahead and click on run and you could see here that you know we do not have any kind of wait time here this is really fast because you are the only one who is using this so let's have a look here so you could see that you know we had this different spiral over here so we got this kind of effects even the grass and the tree even in the canal we have this kind of effect even the boat has this spiral uh, structure so that's great let's go ahead and change this and use our old spiral image and let's see how it works so this time i'll just go with 1.2 okay or uh, let's go with 1.2 and click on run and as again uh, it is really fast we do not have any kind of wait time here and here you could see that you know this is really nice i like this spiral uh, for some reason this comes really well in all the images you know so you could see right the effects over here over here over here and let's see that you know if i increase it to 1.4 what will happen right so let's try that so you could see that you know the impact is really more uh, in this case let's say you want to use some other kind of design uh, so you should always think about your input image as well as your prompt does it make sense to use it so since i have this sand clock over here i'm going to use nebula as my prompt i want to see how it works so you'll see that you know i have used 0.8 over here and i'm going to run this and at the same time i'm use this strength to 1.5 and i'll run the same prompt once more okay and let's see how it impacts the output when we have different kind of strength okay so let's have a look at the output with 0.8 you could see that you know you will be able to see and visualize that you know there is a sand clock over here but it's not that evident 
but with 1.5 you could easily see this you know the impact is really more and the illusion is really high over here right so let's try a different example and i will go with the illusion strength of one so let's have a look at the output here so we do have this uh, nine square boxes which we can see it but i didn't like the output a lot you know so what will happen if we just go ahead and change the seed value right so let's change the seed value and see let's have a look here uh, this is much nice output you know we have this coherent design over here it doesn't look too strong in the center and we have lighter shade on the outer side and then stronger red color over uh, in the uh, center over here right so you could see that you know uh, once you change the seed value the output will also change this is how you can generate different kind of output as well so this is my last example i have set illusion strength as 1.7 over here and this is my prompt and seed value is kept same from my last generation that is last 28 it was and let's see what kind of results we get so you could see that you know we have uh, this kind of output uh, all i wanted to say that you know if you decrease the value 0.8 or 1 you will not get this kind of strong uh, output okay so this is something that i have played and uh, if i start showing you all the variation you know uh, with small values it will take a lot of time but you could try by yourself and see the difference okay as promised this is my bonus so we have one hugging face project which allow you to upscale your image up to 10x right so i'll put the link in the description of the video and pin comment you can take it from there so you can select your uh, image from here so let's see that you know I, i'll just go ahead with this one and you can go ahead and upscale till 10 and click on restore image so once you click on this you will find that you know it will take some time and it will give you the output which will be much higher quality of this and you can expand it will still not pixelate let's have a look at the output so you could see that you know uh, we have the upscaled image over here so i have saved this image so this is the image we created using gradio and you could see that you know once you zoom in it will start pixelating but this is something we created using that upscaled image and even though if you zoom in up to 400 or 300 the quality is still there right so this is really great you can use this to upscale your images i'll put the entire details in the description of the video this prompts and other reference images i will share it via google drive the link will be present in the pinned and description of the video you can take it from there and use it and there are reference seed as well and the strength value which i have used uh, during our demo so you guys can try and let me know if you face any issue in the comment section if you enjoyed this video share it with your friends and thank you everyone for showing so much love to this channel it really means a lot i have other great videos that you might like so be sure to check out my other playlist i am also active on x if you are using x follow me there as i share a lot of informative ai related posts don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you